Hi there and welcome to the SketchUp rendering tutorial. So today I'm here with Aerial Vision and this is a getting started tutorial. And today I'm going to show you uh, what you can do with Aerial Vision and how you can get started with it. So you don't need any experience uh, in Aerial Vision yet in order to follow this because I'm going to show you how you can get started making your own renderings. So this is another render engine from Render Plus Systems and uh, I'm very excited to show you what it works like because it can do a lot. So once you open your SketchUp model like this one, this is uh, from a speed build which I created uh, a couple of months back and it's a modern SketchUp uh, model which is perfect for explaining uh, or just to show you what every Aerial Vision can do. Uh, in case you've downloaded the trial version, you've got to go to extensions and then in the pop-up menu you should uh, see Aerial Vision there and then this uh, menu which you see over here will pop up for you as well. So um, yeah, let's get started. So this first scene which I've set up, uh, I've created to show you how you can actually get started uh, rendering. For that you've got to click on the green button and then there you see uh, five uh, lighting presets. They've been created by Aerial Vision. For now I'm just going for high uh, studio, high dynamic, uh, which I'm going to explain you more about while I'm rendering. And here you can also uh, select the render image size and the uh, size in general so not only can you choose a small medium or large but you can also choose your own custom size you can also make sure that it doesn't actually follow the SketchUp aspect ratio so in case you want something which is very wide but maybe not that tall then you can uh, change that yourself but then you must uh, make sure that the tick is not in the U SketchUp aspect ratio um, yeah, block but um, for now I'm just going for the large render image size. Later on in this tutorial I will also show you what a high resolution looks like. But um, yeah, as you can see I've rendered it and this is what it looks like. So this might not have been the uh, most interesting angle that I could have chosen from my model. But I have chosen this angle because it shows the wood very clearly. And the wood is what I'm going to be working on right now. Because we are back in SketchUp now and if you then right click on the material that you want to add it and that you want to add uh, material um, settings to you've got to right click then go to aerial vision and then this will pop and then say added material and then this will pop up and you'll see that you can actually uh, by choosing the different presets change the amount of reflection self glow and illumination and transparency uh, but for this uh, tutorial i want to show you uh, some reflective aspects of the wood uh, in the model, so I choose reflective, uh, which got 50% uh, reflectiveness. And then uh, it's as easy as that, you click on OK, and then you can go back into uh, SketchUp again, and you click on the green button, and then you will start rendering. And then this is uh, what you'll see right now. And as you can see, the difference is that now you see a little bit more highlights and a little bit more details in the uh, rendered image, which is definitely what you want and also what adds realism to the model and to the render especially. So now it's time to go to the full house again and just create a rendered image of this house uh, using the exterior with sun preset. As you can see, shadows are turned down now and uh, that makes it look much better already. I'm going for the high resolution image so that you can see uh, the house much more clearly as well. And you can also see how beautiful uh, the renders are using the high resolution setting. And then as you can see, this is what it turns out to look like. But as you just saw, there are some other options as well. I'm not going to go over all of them, uh, all of the preset uh, lighting options, but I am going into HDRI uh, sky plus a background. You can actually use any panoramic image that you can find on the internet for that. And if you add that, I'll make a separate tutorial about it. You can actually uh, create a much more realistic sky. Uh, and as you can see, uh, you see also some reflection in all the glass. Uh, which is in the building and the uh, background is not just a clear blue sky but it's got some clouds as well so that really creates some more realistic image and like i said you can use any panoramic image that you find on the internet for this and then now it's time to add some lighting to this model so for that you've got to click on the fourth icon which is the lighting icon this uh, makes another menu pop up and for this tutorial we're going into the warehouse where we can uh, choose from 
uh, several different lights from wall lights to floor lights to desk lights to anything we're going for wall lights now I'm adding uh, a color you can add any color from the color template but I'm going for yellow because as you probably know light is often not white but it is yellow especially if you want to add like a more of a warm um, touch to your uh, rendering or to your uh, design in general so I'm adding this light the only thing you furthermore got to do is uh, choose the amount of lumens and also uh, select if you want a single light or you want to place multiple ones and then you click on create and place and then it's now time to add them to the model I'm also going to add some ceiling lights to create an even more uh, lit up um, rendering and then it's time to add that one as well I'm adding three of those on this uh, ceiling at the right and then in a second it's time to uh, get started rendering it so uh, now you can actually move away from the menu and then you click on the green render button again you go to uh, studio high dynamic you can choose any size as you want so we've moved into the aerial vision uh, yeah, menu now and uh, where the render was created and now you see the brightness uh, by clicking on the tone operator button the fur button and then by uh, decreasing the brightness you can actually uh, make it seem as if it's like an evening scene and as you can see the uh, lighting is very important there and it looks just beautiful especially the ones which uh, light up the wall and the uh, stairs are very beautiful but also the ceiling lights just create a very good effect and in this way you can see how easy it is to actually just add lights to your model as you just saw it's really not that difficult and it's very easy to do and you really don't have to do anything else than what I just did in a couple of seconds and minutes but um, yeah that was just a getting started tutorial in aerial vision I'm planning on making very many other tutorials on this uh, render engine as well on uh, several different topics in case you've got a suggestion for what sort of topic I should cover as well please let me know but there are uh, several ones coming up very soon uh, covering different topics like I mentioned so anyways thanks for watching this and then I hope to see you back in another rendering tutorial very soon bye bye